finished work. Um, as you can possibly tell, I'm slightly on the damp side. And um, yeah, so we've got a busy day. Obviously all the horses still need working. Uh, we've got Yvonne coming out, which we're really interested in, and she's gonna talk about how each of the horses are feeling and yeah, just sort of explaining a bit what she's doing for my guys, so you guys have an idea. Um, they've all got their like little niggles at the moment. Um, not that stopping them from obviously working, but they just need sort of ironing out. Um, and Yvonne does such a great job of doing that for me. Um, and yeah, so they all feel great. And it's um, without her, we wouldn't have probably have been, had the horses back quite so quickly. So yeah, she's been a crucial part of our team this year. So I thought I'd do a vlog with her and she's doing all three of mine today. So you'll be able to listen to, well, hopefully she's doing all three of mine today. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, so fingers crossed, they're all feeling fine. They've got a few bits that I've noticed sort of over the last couple of weeks because um, we missed last month by accident. Um, and yeah, so this is starting. They don't look very happy. Them. So I am completely sat in the most awkward position in the car because I've had to climb around to get my bloody jacket. Um, I'm so grumpy with this weather. I don't do wet. Neither do the horses. Oh, I just don't like it. And we were meant to be having like four or five days of it now. I know we need it. I know that. It's just so frustrating. <laughs> uh, Alright, my little rant's over. I've got to get out now and get wet. Yvonne's here! Hi! She's doing Queenie, also known as Eastie. Um, so, so far I've already gone through with Yvonne of like what I've been feeling and she's already sort of felt what I've been feeling and she's just literally started doing her shoulder um, but I'll get her to go into more depth. <laughs> yeah so I'm just going to start at the base of her neck because obviously what you've explained to me is that she's kind of putting her weight onto your left leg, um, jumping fine yeah. but obviously we've talked about her striking off with both hinds um, but on the flat in between jumps she's losing the counter um, and losing that impulsion. Um, what I've already felt is she's very tight in her subclavius at the front of her shoulder here, which comes down and onto the sternum, yeah. um, which just shows that she is loading weight through, pushing weight through onto this side, potentially. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously I'll do the other side yeah. and then see where we are with her. The other thing that's quite noticeable is she was a little bit restricted. Let's move your head there, darling. Um, just in front of the scapula in this midsection here, and this is really where we're looking for um, the main thoracic sling muscle, which is serratus ventralis, mm -hmm. um, which is attached to the cervical vertebrae, goes under the shoulder and out onto the ribs. Um, and that's really used to hold that whole thoracic area up and allow the legs and shoulders to move independently. So she's quite restricted in there as well which will not be helping her so would she have got like the tightness and like her leading as i said from having a restriction then it's just sort of like built up sort of like a snowball but, effect but, potentially yes so she's worked with the restriction there mm -hmm. and it's not been released then that will continue to get tighter and tighter yeah. it's just like if you've Let's say you've gone out for a run, yeah. you feel that you've pulled your hamstring. If you continue to run on that without having it released, that'll get tighter and tighter until there's a point where you go, actually, I can't do this. And I think that's where she's at. Right, yeah. She's trying, but she's not quite physically able to right, do yeah. what you're asking of her at the moment. Yeah. And that's what I commonly see with most clients. Most horses are very resilient and they will try their heart out for you and it's actually once you start to feel it as a rider that they're just not 
not quite right in some way. Yeah, and because, like, I think as well, because we missed last month by accident, because we yeah. both ended up but completely crashing. So she's gone normal. longer than normal, because obviously our guys now get done monthly. Um, so yeah, she's had those eight weeks as opposed to four weeks. So and, that's, and that's probably why, why you've I could been feel picking it. Picking up the work because obviously you've not had the best year with the yeah. string <laughs> one after the other. Um, so you've picked up the work, and and that intensity and increasing workload can quite often just be enough to to create some tension in there and some fatigue in the muscles. And then when they get the fatigue, they get tight. And then you're trying to work on that, and they just can't quite move the way that they need to. Cool. So really what we've got um, around all the hamstrings and the hind area is uh, uh, the glutes here were quite restricted, probably coming up to the midline a little bit close to where gluteal tendon is and into the gluteal tongue which comes right across over the top of your long dorsi into your top line. Um, nothing really in biceps morris, that's all good. Semi tens are really good, a little bit of restriction here in gastrocnemius. Um, but overall, that hind looks really, really nice, which Eastie is now showing to you. Don't. It's such a pain. <laughs> oh, you can actually see it really well on here don't, again. Yeah. Like don't how much with, her butt don't work with comes out after being massive. children. Oh, we need that. Eastie, I'm trying to show people. I know that your butt's all lovely and round. So you can actually really see how and much has come, come out yeah. and then how sloped she is this side. This yeah. side's not been done yet. Yeah. So, yeah. Powerhouse. <laughs> yeah, so there's no hollowing here. You see, that's her rhomboids and her cervical uh, trapezius over there and that's a brachiocephalic and she hasn't got that hollow here on this side that she had on the other side of the serratus ventralis and if I feel really carefully, I can feel one, two, three bands of Yay. serratus ventralis. Um, and so clavius is firm but doesn't feel as restricted as it was on the left side. lift it out for the cameras. Although I suspect she may have been compensating. So it doesn't feel fatigued as such, but it feels much stronger in terms of her using it on yeah. this side. Is it compensation? No, we can get it. Change the angle and then you might. If you don't change your head, so that's her Wobbles. It comes right down and attaches onto the sternum. I always find that absolutely amazing. So if you put your hand in there, if I sink it right in, I can almost get to her scapula. It's mental. Oh, horse is head. Yeah. She said, yes, don't encourage you to touch my scapula. Thank you very much. <laughs> so how's she been on this side? Well, um, obviously uh, tight in her uh, thoracic trapezius um, and long head of triceps but not quite as bad as the other side. Uh, <laughs> Eastie, you're not helpful. Um, medial glute, very good. <laughs> Excuse me, I've just got a horse reversing into me. This is reversing. Um, but mm. super coming down into superficial glue is where She's really asking me to work, hence her posturing, because I was still on the medial glue, <laughs> and she decided to move forwards and tell me where to put my hands. And now, oh yeah, now we've got a bit of swinging going on. I just like to do, it's a new thing for Eastie, the little bit of party dancing. This is where she's really wanting me to release. <laughs> I am at the back of the stable, Easty, so don't. I love how when you always come out though, and like by the time you've done both sides, like they all just hold themselves so much taller, and then I'm like, oh my god, my horses are way bigger than I think they are. Yeah, 
I'm kind of lucky I just massage them. I don't have to ride them after. And you've got the beast to do next. Yeah. <laughs> the beast's Tino, by the way. He's, um, um, he's a bit big. He's a bit big. Definitely need my super box for that. The super box! But I am yeah. a little bit vertically challenged. But um, yeah, so oh. she's been really good on the whole, like matched up with what I've said and so we're happy. But this is ridiculous. This whole side, she's just been pulling faces and loving life. And she's just tipping her hips completely over to me. She's like completely bent round. If you stuck them... She never does this. No, no this ever. Is... This is ridiculous. She is not a giving horse. You know, we don't, I get some horses that are very expressive in terms of showing me release. Easties, you know, you're literally looking for a slow blink. That's what, you know, she's not very expressive when I work with her generally. Although today... Well, this side she definitely has been. This side she is definitely expressive. And a lot more in a bicep for Morris. Nice. And, well, we'll take that as a release. <laughs> That is about as expressive as it gets. <laughs> That's how she usually yeah, is. Yeah, she's normally just very, very quiet. She just stands there and I treat her and I don't get any... Bish, bash, any, bosh. Really not a lot of feedback from her, but obviously I get it from you when you ride her. Yeah. Um, yeah, she's generally very, very stoic. And not We've decided that she's like the best of, Br well, if you can call it the best of British. She she's very stiff upper lip and no emotion required sort of thing. So, um, yeah. But we love her most of the time. Here we go. But. So, semi 10 feels pretty good, but I think. It's just ridiculous. I can't believe like how so much giving she's down. been. Uh, it's tight. It's tight. And it would have gone into semi ten, you know, it would have. Yeah. We don't go in between your back legs though, do we, Easty? That is has but always we, been the yeah. rule. No no. She is not a fan. She has limits. And in between the legs is it. And it's always the mares. It's always the mares that I have to watch with that. The girl things are normal, they're all very, very good. And Twig looks good at it. Yeah. Twig loves yeah, it, Twigs but is Twigs is like half gelding. So. Yeah. Good stretch. Now. You've just knocked over my drink, you horrible horse. She's all I can stretch now because she's in my bicep then. <laughs> so, for those of you that don't know, EC's been out actually for most of the year. She had 100 days off um, because the side that Yvonne is actually working now, she pulled it. Completely she her hamstrings and down, kind of going down to literally the just. Hawk, but she was literally at the point where I couldn't, she wouldn't let me touch it. Yeah. Um, at all. So to have her doing this and actually pushing this hip into me and posturing and. It's such a huge thing, and like we actually didn't think she was going to come back at all this summer. Um, we sort of thought it would be about now that she'd would be thinking about getting back on riding her. Um, but she made it very clear, sort of, after those hundred days that she was raring to get back going. She didn't do well on box rest. And, um, yeah. You are a hilarious horse. So that all of this is like, we are really stoked that she's just feeling so great. And um, she's looking amazing. Like, they always... All of them look fantastic after your bond's been, so. Right, girly girl. I think you're done. You see how you look from behind now? We're just looking at his long head of triceps, which is really nicely developed there. A little bit of fatigue in there, but not too bad. Um, but if we look at him, you know, his lat dorsi is going to be here. And uh, I have a lot of clients that might say, oh, my horse is fat there. And that is an area where some of them will carry fat if they're overweight. Um, but I saw one and they thought it was fat and it isn't. It's actually the lat dorsi muscle at the back of the shoulder. Um, well developed. But, but his is certainly more developed, I would say, than East is at the moment. Okay. Um, 
and that could be down to what you've been doing in terms of your hill work mm -hmm. um, that you've been working on with him and certainly downhill canter but with him holding himself um, obviously the lap door seat's used in the whole of the shoulder movement as with everything else around here <laughs> that massive shoulder um, and it's an area that I quite often have to release especially show jumpers and horses that work in a in collection a lot of the time um, but yeah he looks significantly different to the last time I saw him significantly different and in, in actual fact you know muscularly so far he doesn't feel too bad at all great doesn't feel too bad. Uh, so also a quick update on Tino um, as Yvonne just said he has got some not issues, but that's one word I'm going to use, with the work he's necessarily been doing. Um, so he's been doing a lot of collection work and going downhill because he struggled to do that um, and it was just an exercise I thought we could do and he, he found it easier in canter to collect than he was in trot. He was just running down the hill in trot. Um, so yeah, we did that. He's actually not done a lot of jumping. He it's now Tuesday he jumped on Sunday um, and that was the first time he jumped more than just like a cross pole um, which was also more than like 90 centimeters or a meter felt amazing like it's becoming such a different horse when Yvonne first came out he was completely lopsided so his left side had no muscle at all and his right side was a brick shells basically it was like touching a brick wall and I think Yvonne nearly died after doing just that side of him um, so it was quite an, a funny afternoon but yeah it highlighted a lot of work that we needed to do and then he's had obviously his few issues with his foot, feet um, so we've taken it really really slowly with him but Yvonne as she said he's looking like a different horse is starting to get a really nice picture together. She's getting a magic box to stand on because she's a bit small. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really happy with what Yvonne's saying and it's matching up again. So it's really nice to know that what I'm feeling is correct and that he's feeling good too. So unlike Eastie, Tino is a bit more giving. Look at that lip. as to what Yvonne's doing. That's a bit of a scary shot. He literally looks like he is the width of this stable. Yeah, well, he, he's not far off, is he? <laughs> oh. um, so far, so good. So, yeah, we're just... It's funny because uh, him and Eastie are bred, they're both English sports horses. They're both British bred, but obviously they are just so different. Bearing in mind, Eastie did come out of a 14 2 pony. Oh, shit. <laughs> <Poor pony. laughs> so, yeah. Got the old box out again. Yeah. Don't do that, Tino. That makes you look massive. So Yvonne does templates. And this is Tino's before. This blue line. It's really hard to do this on your phone. And then the red line is after so that's what he's changed on one side and that's what he's changed on the other this is what he's changed through his trapezius which is rather drastic and then his 18th rib now it barely fat on the page to begin with and it is now right at the very edge I actually can't oh there we go you can just see it so the outer line is his second, like at the end of his massage and the inner line was at the beginning. So yeah, 
he's um you know you've had a good day or having a good day it's when you can't find your car keys for like the second or third time i have no idea where i've put them you might be rushing into town to go get some cash out and i can't find them anywhere it's so freaking frustrating been a bad vlogger I haven't done the other side but as you can see Twiglet is completely loving life um, and now I'll let Yvonne explain how she's felt throughout this massage yeah so physically um, her muscle tone has really changed um, she, she was you know developed but, um, it's raining. Oh my god. I don't know if you can see in the distance, but Tops and Moo have just legged it. shoulders are much stronger um, which kind of explains the way she's she's going really in terms of she's probably given me the biggest workout because her muscle tone is much firmer um, With hench. but she's got no sort of um, involuntary muscle spasms that you get from tightness where nerves are trapped she's um, was a little tight at C1 for a pole on her left side, a little bit at C2 on her right, um, and the rest of it has just been lifting muscles out where they've depleted a little bit from fatigue, um, and quite a bit in her hind quarters, which now are a little bit mismatched now that I've done one side, um, but that's, you know, she's a show jumper at the end of the day, she should have uh, Don't fatigue in there. I've got 
She's been having a party in the field. I do groom my ponies, guys. This Ma Martha said she hasn't groomed the horse for a week. <laughs> Only joking. Let's be honest, when I say groomed, I've got one of the like tiger sponges from equine products, they're amazing. But you just have to like lightly wipe them yeah. and it makes them shiny. <laughs> That's not the same as removing that. But she does get a bath every week. Yeah, well she's working hard at being at a mud, a mud horse, at being a mud quite frankly, because monster. Um, this is about the colour that mine is generally without my dog. Um, yeah, so on her left side, really superficial glute, her semi-10, uh, top not want of you. her bicep from Morris. So really all her hamstrings um, that she's using to push power through from behind um, are, are there. Uh, she's just, she's currently grooming the door and the rug in appreciation of her massage. Um, but yeah, overall, she's just feeling brilliant. And considering I haven't seen her for a couple of months, um, it's, well, it's my birthday was when you saw her, so yeah. two months ago, literally. Yeah. So it's, um, yeah, it's been a while, but she's changed. You know, the first time I saw her, muscle tone was really quite low. She had mu the muscle was there and developed, but it wasn't strengthened that you get from sort of real collection work it wasn't brick shit else no she wasn't hench now she's hench she ron called it she said you were going to be secret agent secret agent twigs is now coming to fruition she is a spy in the midst who's just taken everything on been taken nice and slowly you know there's no quick fixes guys for any of this it's all about the work that you put in, working them correctly. You know, plenty of variation in the work. If you're a show jumper, they still need flat work. They still need to hack. You know, they they need those variations. They need to see different terrains, not just in an arena. Um, these are all things that will give you a really super horse. Um, That's been, I think, our biggest change this summer, is we've really done a lot more hacking with them um, than perhaps we were doing before. Yeah. Like I liked the routine that they had before. Don't get me wrong, we were getting results from that. Um, but now the horse is just have all really picked build, up a bit more. You can really Don't. build so much. She's now asking for the massage to continue with her front leg, which she's been doing throughout. There we go. Um, but yeah, they, they build an awful lot of, it's good for them mentally to have that stimulation. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think she wants, no, don't, don't bend your tail like that. Oi. Because that's, I don't think I can, <laughs> massage you from there. <laughs> Twiglet. <laughs> Every time you've got on the box and gone to the back end on all three of mine, they've all just sat on you. I know. But again, yeah, so superficial glue, head of a bicep for Morris as well, on this side, as you can see. She's she thoroughly enjoying it. Prettily amazing. Oh, <laughs> do not sit on me. I'm only five foot four. So yeah, as Yvonne's just said, she um, she's not particularly tall, so all of my horses are monsters for her. Yeah, I think my biggest horse is 17 too that I do, but I do have to stand on a mountain block. Well, Red, yeah. you didn't actually ever do Red, no, did you? No, Because I was always a bit scared of you doing him and making him go cray-cray. <laughs> um, oh I my God. And he was. Tino, oh, darn it. Tino then was just like proper snoozing. He had his eyes like going and everything. So yeah, that's all about the Twiglet because otherwise this vlog's going to be so long anyway. Well, yeah, but actually it's going to be really interesting how she feels when you ride her. If she's been feeling good up to yeah. this point, you know, with this loosened off, she's going to be really able to push under. 
Um, there is an exciting plan for this mare, but I'm not saying anything because not of the year not. I've had, I'm not jinxing anything. Um, but hopefully tomorrow, this one's out. Who's falling asleep again? He's just going to a little training show, and then we'll see from there. Good girl, I know you want me to rub it. Yeah, I know, baby. That was thunder. That was quite loud. But it does amaze me that none of the horses like really care about the thunder and lightning. Well, to a horse, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. I think we're all a bit soft about we, it. We, yeah, we, we go. Oh. So, just finishing up at the yard. It's gotten really hot now. Um, as you can see from today, all the horses have been fab for Yvonne. Yvonne is over the moon with how they've been um, and how they're feeling, which is great as the rider and owner of these horses. Um, and it just sort of, Yvonne just helps me sort of keep my head on my shoulders that I know that I know what I'm doing and that I actually can trust myself because I have that, I constantly self doubt in that am I heading in the right direction, what am I doing um, and all those things and today has just been really really good and has just proven that actually we are heading on the right direction with each of the horses. Um, yeah, and I can be confident in that the horses are working correctly for each individual horse. So that's great. Um, over the moon with Tino. I think Tino has probably won the prize today because he needed to change so drastically. And when she first did him, he was a completely different horse um, and I was sort of like oh my god what am I gonna do because it wasn't that really that long after I got him and I was just like oh maybe I've not made the right decision why my brightness keeps on changing um, but yeah so I am really happy with him twigs great like couldn't have asked for anything more from her either and Eastie is as Eastie always will be um Eastie goes in her own goes in her own way and you've just got to accept that and sort of enjoy the ride of having her um we can support her as much as we can and everything else in between really so yeah happy days for that um and that's basically it for us for today um yeah well, i couldn't be more stoked of how all of them are and just excited for the future that we are all heading in the right direction me and mum are actually going to go through calendar and a plan for each of the horses um because mum almost got bit earlier by easty and that was quite funny um, and I was like, you know, she's telling you she wants to go to a show. So that was funny. And, uh, yeah, so we've just got to come up with a plan of what we're doing and stuff like that, really, now. Um, Tino is, like, feeling great. He's actually, as I've said, he's out tomorrow. And we'll go from there. So... Thanks. I know it's been a long one, so I'm really glad. I hope you have watched all of it. Um, and yeah, hope you've learned a bit of something as well because Yvonne's so good. And I'll put her details down below. Uh, make sure you like it and also subscribe. Bye, guys.